Welcome to Gray on Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have four squares and we are asked to find the yellow area. But before we go to the solution, may I request you to please like this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So first thing that we need to notice is that this green square, uh, 5 square unit square is actually one fourth of this 20 square unit blue square. And as you can actually put four uh, green squares inside the blue square as I have drawn here. And also for the non green and the non blue squares, you can project lines and form uh, five unit squares which are actually four of them and it has an area of five square units each okay so next is i want you to notice that this triangle here this white triangle near the yellow region and above the green region this longer base has actually two five square units and it is actually two square root of five and this is actually square root of five and if we get the length of this the hypotenuse since it is a right triangle, then we have, if we label this as x, then we have x is equal to the square root of uh, square root of 5 square. And we are 2 square root of 5 square. And we have x is equal to the square root of 5 plus 4 times 5 and that is 20 and it will give us the square root of 25 and x is equal to 5 units okay so next is i want you to notice that this length the length of the white square or the semi-white square, shall we say? We shall say that this is actually three square root of five because there are three uh, five square units of the squares. So each side would be square root of five for one square, but there are actually three. So we need to say that this is three square root of five. Okay, so next is we write the ratio of the white right triangle. Then for the shorter leg, we have square root of 5. And for the longer leg, we have 2 square root of 5. Then for the hypotenuse, we have 5. If we divide this by square root of 5, all of this numbers then we have one is to two is to square root of five okay so next is we extract this triangle this is actually a right triangle because it is from a square so if we extract that Okay, so for the triangle that we have extracted, we have the hypotenuse to be 3 square root of 5. And we label this length as A, the shorter leg, and the longer leg to be B. And actually, you can notice that B is actually the length of the, or the side of the square in question, the yellow square while a is actually this length this one 
this is actually a and we also want to take into consideration that this white triangle is actually a similar triangle with this yellow triangle so if this is alpha and if we label this as beta then this corresponding angle should be alpha because they are from a complementary angle and this one well this one this angle should be beta okay okay now that i have put the uh, ratio of this white triangle 1 is to 2 is to square root of 5 then on for the yellow square we have the hypotenuse to be 3 square root of 5 we just need to divide the 3 square root of 5 by this square root of 5 and multiply it by 2 to get this portion. So we have 3 square root of 5 divided by square root of 5. That would be 3 times 2 and that would be 6. And for the other leg, we have 3 square root of 5 divided by square root of 5. And that is 3. And multiply it by 1 and we have three and as you can see actually three is equal to a while b is equal to six and the hypotenuse is c for the yellow square which is three square to five so actually the answer would be six for the length of the yellow square but we are actually looking for the area so area is just simply square the length of the square so we have area is equal to six square so we have area is equal to 36 square units and that is our answer so thank you for watching until the end of the video Please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.